Is that your good angle set right there? Yeah, I think so. Okay. My nose looks smaller from the other side. Can I move the camera over here? I'm just giving somebody a favor. They ask you to move the other side. I need it's too cold. I think he's got to do a lens change. Call somebody. Yeah, I don't know. Cut three more minutes, isn't it? Okay, I'm sorry. Um, somebody asked a question of uh, my friend Steve. Okay. If somebody decided to hit the bat and hit the camera. If somebody decided to hit the bat, hit the camera with a bat, we would get them so many different places that it would be very nice to see that because the police would have a lot to go by. And I'll tell you why. What if you went down the road? And you I'll tell. I'll tell. It doesn't matter. You have to pay for We're going to know what unit he came out of. He came out of a unit, right? Even if he didn't come out of a unit, let's say he doesn't come any unit. He got wherever. Every place he goes, it's tracking him and being recorded before he hits it. So, so we know where he went and where he came from. When when he's hitting these cameras, and if you just hit, is the camera. You won't have to hit the back to a right. building. We have a camera he, on the back. And he's Richard Nixon. What are you going to do? Dig up his body? <laughs> I'm serious. Okay. Do we have a mask? Okay. So if somebody comes in and hits that and then walks out, whatever. Yeah. And they're wearing a mask. And they're wearing a mask. So, so how absurd of the situation? Wait, 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 let's follow it though. Let's say somebody, let's say somebody wears a mask. I have a mask. Okay, when you come in the back door, you hit the camera. Where do you go from there? Back out the back door. Okay, so yes, you're right. We'll have one camera that will be damaged, and we'll have to replace it. In that particular scenario, you're right. Me? Hmm? That's my point. The community. You are great. The two, the two hundred dollars that would take to fix the camera. That's what it would cost. Yeah, two hundred dollars to replace it. No, no, most most it most most like like if you have, cover. if you have, no, 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 if you camera. have somebody that comes and damages the camera, you already spent the money on putting it all over. Are you going to have a situation where you're going to have to repair a camera, or do this or do that, one here, one there, throughout? Yeah, maybe. I mean, it, it, it's famous. You, you may have to. If someone breaks a camera, yes. But if they're going to go through the entire building break, you're going to find this person. Someone's going to see here, and you're going to be tracking where they're going through the building. I'll tell you what, and if it does happen, that would be like a once in a, that is not something that is going well, to be consistently, better, constantly. If you happening. have somebody like that around here, trust me, you want cameras. Yeah, you want the cameras in this people. <laughs> uh, you know. but, um, if, but if someone is going to break a camera, Except for the what you just gave, they come in the back door, they hit it, and they walk out. You're right. We'll have to spend 200 bucks or 150 bucks, whatever it is, to replace that camera. But I think the likelihood of that stuff happening and the frequency of that stuff happening doesn't outweigh not having the security throughout the entire community. In my opinion, I mean, everyone's entitled to their opinion. I think there's another answer to that. It's hard for me to believe that an outside person, a non-resident would have reason to come here, do that kind of damage, and then leave. So let's assume that it's a person here with a grudge, and they come in wearing a mask, and they damage a camera, and then leave that building. If they live here, well, we have to, we're going to have the image of what they're wearing. So unless they have also a change of clothes, we can look at all the other cameras in the building and see where, where this person by, just by the clothes they're wearing, where they went out and where they went. They're not coming from outside the community. They're coming from Bordeaux and totaling a camera into life. Yeah. And clothing means nothing. You can see me coming down the hall and know that it's me. You have to have facial recognition. Nothing else is legal or Steve, valid. I guess what it comes down to, if you're looking for reasons not to have this system, you will come up with an unlimited list of them. Absolutely. So that's fine. Uh, and, and, and that's fine. You, you're, you're, you're one person who does not want them for whatever myriad of reasons you have. You don't okay. want the system. That's let me fine. Just I accept it. Let me just go into one reason. Uh, at the very last meeting of the surveillance camera committee, we did have one. How long ago was that? 
Is this who I know? I don't know. Michael Schenker was there. So I don't want to go with that. A few years back. All right. 2011. All right. Okay. Uh, a woman in the Zurich building was at the meeting. She was on the committee, but she was at the meeting. She said, quote, the only way that we can protect ourselves is to spy on each other. That's my, right. That's my right. comment, my really? comment, you know who else said that? Mussolini said it when addressing <laughs> the brown shirts, and Adolf Hitler said it when addressing the Hitler, the Hitler Youth Corps. Right, Who's personally Mussolini? Mussolini? No. Who has successfully? <laughs> let, me, let me say something. <laughs> let, let me say something. You know, like about one, that. one door souls off the lot. Let, like let, let me say something. Right now, the way we are using the cameras here is that way. If something happens, we go and we look what happened. So we need to begin to check on the DVR and what happened is happening. But there are two ways to use the system to make the village safer. One way is supervising the cameras online every time. That is what he's saying. He says, for example, if something, if we have a, a camera system here in front of you or the person that is here in front of the, in front of the, 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 the decks, and we see that for any reason something is happening, somebody has to react to that situation and to do something. We are not doing that right now. We have a DVR on the accessory, and we have one DVR here. Something happens, but. We do something when, hey, I, I was listening yesterday, that people say, we lost we love something on the, at the gym, right? Mm -hmm. The DVR is recorded permanently. Mm -hmm. So we can go and we can check who took that thing. Mm -hmm. so, we, we, so we should know what happened. Yeah, one thing okay? And the other way to, to use the system is to do it online. So we have internet on each building. The wind stop, 11 DVRs in all the buildings. Network. We should have one person that is looking, the 11 cameras exactly and looking, hey, what's happening here? What's happening here? What's happening here? And to prevent. That's the other way to use the system. What's the third way? No, that, that's, the, that's the second way that I, okay, that, what's that the I, third that I hear. What is the third way? The third way is what the post is. Because if you are going, you're not going to be able to have someone sitting and watching it. You know, you don't want to pay the labor for that. Because not only do you have to have somebody watching it, now you're going to have to have an additional rover. Because when they see something, you're going to have to go send that rover. Okay? okay. You need like three staff members plus the cameras. You're going to add $150,000 of labor, or $120,000 labor because you have payroll taxes, insurance, and all that. You're going to pay $150,000 for that every year. That's not, That's not going to happen. The other way to do it is you have the cameras set up as being proposed, right? So that when somebody could, this is this is a prevention and a, and it, and it's also going to be reaction. So hope you hopefully you're going to prevent. You will prevent people because they're going to see that. So you'll have some prevention there. But the ones who aren't prevented, whether they don't see it, they don't care, whatever the case may be. We will be able to identify when people are calling and saying, I want to know right now what you're going to do about this, or you're going to do it, which I can't do anything about right now, to be honest with you. What are you going to do? 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 Okay, so what happened? Well, I had all of my laundry taken out of my thing and thrown all over the room. Okay, when was it? It was this day between this hour and this hour. No problem. What do I do? I go to my computer at my desk, and I take a look at that camera. I see the act happening. So what I do is I back it to see where they came from. And then I go forward and see where they went afterwards. And I can follow them through so I know exactly where they went, and I know who did it. Otherwise, that's why I spend three, four hours a day handling these complaints because I can't fix it. I can't. There's no way to fix it. If the, if the offender yeah. is a unit owner yeah. rather than a renter, Correct. then what are you going to do? Send it to Mr. Goodhart's fine committee? Well, That has never leveled a fine 
over the years? Well, they would have all had you want to take owners first? So if we want to take owners for renters are easy because we have the power of the victim. But if you want to talk about owners, there are a couple of different things. Excuse me. There are a couple of different things if it's an owner. Okay? There are a couple of different things. There are a couple of different things if it's an owner. Okay? Number one, is the act a criminal act? If it's a criminal act, I don't know how the crime is about taking somebody else's laundry and throwing it if they're willing to go to the police and make a report, but we will just hand the recordings over to the police and have the person go and make a report. At least they know where they came in and where they went. 99% of the crap that goes on yeah. in his village yeah. is not criminal acts. That's not true. And the yeah. police do not give a damn about anything that goes on here that is not criminal Right. Because when it's a civil matter, mm -hmm. that's our business, right. not their business. So if it's a civil well, matter, we have the proof on it, yes, we're going to send violation, whether you like it or not, this is the process. We're going to send them a violation notice, we're going to, they're going to know, it's going to go in their file, they're going to know what's going on. Now that we are getting financially stable in this village, we don't have an issue putting fines on the folios doing it following the proper thing, and then they start going into arrears on these fines. That's, that's okay, we can do that, and we're going to do that. But if you're asking what the process is, that's the process with an owner. You have to go through the fines process. Now, is it going to stop all of you? No, will it stop 90% of this crap going on? Oh yeah, it will, it will, because when people started getting the fines before, what, what a year and a half ago, whenever it was, when people started getting the fines before, what did they do? They came into compliance with those things. They did. They came into compliance. Now, except for the dogs, we know that's a whole different issue. But people came into compliance. There's no doormats there. They took the things off the patios. They're fixing their screens. They do listen because the money talks. So is it going to fix 100% of the people? No, but it's a, certainly a good start. It gives you something that you can use as a community to at least wrap up 80% of these things. Yeah, you're going to have some that straddle. You will. I'm not going to That's a process. But for the most part, to take away 80%, 90% of the crap that we're hearing and that we're seeing, I, I think that's a good track record. I, I, you know, this, I haven't been here that long. Right? The AC is okay. Did, no, you, did you want it to be warmer? How did, what, what, what was the question? It was too cold. It was too cold. Too cold. Can you turn the windows open? That's yeah, the window. That's what yeah. yeah, but we don't want to keep the window open. That's right. What, what, what do we want the uh, temperature? I want to know what it's set to. What is the setting? 76. No, it's 76 in here now. What is it set to? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 And about the Zorik, somebody who's still in the door. I, I never heard of any of that. The only thing I've, I've been aware of since I, uh, since you heard about, about all this, was when they started posting the um, posters about the UPS and the packages and all that other stuff. Yeah, because people were taking packages. Yeah, yeah but, but I mean, I'm home most of the time, and when the UPS comes, he doesn't even, um, he'll, he'll knock. Yeah. And if nobody's there, he'll leave the package. And I was told some of the UPS people supposed to have me sign it anyway. Well, it depends on the delivery. They don't always have to. It depends on the sender. No. <coughs> It depends on the sender. It depends. I had an envelope from FedEx in front of my door. Yeah, because if, they, if, if the person sending it to you doesn't require a signature, they'll just leave it in front of you. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. Yeah, because it depends on who's it's sending it to you. The sender. Yeah. Either they, when I send a package, there's a box that says, do you want signature, yes or no? If you put no, it's telling the carrier, leave it. If they push yes, then it says, you have to get a signature. That's how it works. I had a knock at the door today, yeah. and it was our... Uh, local post school girl mm -hmm. and she had a box and I didn't get there right away and she was already walking away with it. She wasn't going the to leave you, it. The, 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 uh, 
the UPS, not the UPS, the, uh, the Postal Service will do that, and not UPS. UPS will they not. They leave it in my absolutely, if it they depends on the sender. And I get a lot of stuff. I get three or four packages. Well, regardless, it, that, that doesn't right. matter. What matters is what's happening is, and you're bringing up a very another point that I didn't bring up, we're getting a lot of complaints, which is why you saw the, the notices going in the buildings. People, it doesn't matter if it's left there or not. Do you think it's right for one of your neighbors to pick it up? I wouldn't pick it up. I, you, okay, you wouldn't because you're, you, know, you, you follow, you, 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 you're different, okay? But people are picking up these <laughs> packages and, and stealing them. And they know what's in them, I don't, you know. Yeah, well, but, that, but that's what's happening. People taking clothes and stuff out of the laundromat. Yeah. I mean, they don't know what the laundromat yeah. is. Well, that was one that just happened now, today and yesterday, so that's why it's fresh in my mind. And the storage is normalized. And the storage is. And they don't have a camera in the storage. It says Victoria's Secret, I'm picking it up. I saw that on the, on the recordings. When I was looking at the recordings, yeah. I, I found uh, a guy who was uh, washing his, 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 doing his laundry. Yeah. And uh, for any reason, one girl came later and take everything. He crashed to the floor, and, and the guy came later and he has to pick up everything. So, so you can see that on the cameras and the faces. I know who were because I left it there more than the hour. The first one. Yeah, yeah, you mean more than an hour? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
for that purpose. And then, you know, the guy talking about, about without being seen, right. doesn't walk in the building right away. Five minutes later, he walks in. You don't know that that person did it. I, I'm not just saying that because that's the reason you, you're saying for the camera. No, I'm saying that that's, that's one thing of many. But, but as, uh, you know, as was mentioned earlier, you, you can, anybody, as mentioned before, anybody can come up with why this wouldn't work. All I'm simply saying is nothing is ever 100%. But where we're sitting right now, isn't it better to get 80% better? It may not catch 100%, but it's going to catch 80% of, of the stuff that's it's going to deter. Yeah, that's the and it's going to deter. Mm -hmm. So even if you go from being able to catch zero to being able to catch 80%, you're light years ahead of where you are right now. That's all we're saying. And then when a perspective buyer comes look into the property, so It'll so increase and your value. And they see 24 cameras throughout each building. They they love it. It. They'll they increase love your value. It. They'll they'll it. Your they'll it. Uh, increase your value. That's security. Okay, so all right. You know what's going on. I got it's a matter of I don't, I don't rip a, 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 my building, the Bordeaux. There was no sign for the, for the board meeting last night. It's not old, no, ugly, clinky away. cameras no, coming out there. Don't they don't know how many cameras. They see a camera Jason, in the lobby. They yeah. see a camera. He, in his building, the only thing they leave up are the movies. Everything else keeps taken down. It's been like that for a couple of years. What? Say it again. I'm sorry. Somebody keeps taking down all the, the, the mail. Oh, yours isn't the only one. Not only yeah. that, they, they keep, you know what they keep doing? Ripping off the, the entire casing of, of uh, the mail mailing list. Yeah, yeah, how many yeah. times I had to, you remember, how many times I had to replace those. Finally, we had to build something and, and still, we had two that were taking. It's, uh, it, it makes no sense. So why someone know wants to take that? Right. Why that was doing it. Uh, I, I'm not against cameras like in the, in the laundry room and on the doors. Right. I understand. But we don't know where the person's going. Well, that's well, the well, going to. But then you're putting eight in each hallway. Because we need to see where they're, once they commit the act, we need to know where they went. And if they can walk in through the glasses they had on. If they walk into their door, we're going to know where they went and where they came from. Oh, you won't get that close. I thought you but, said that like you weren't getting that close. No, I'm saying that I described exactly where they are. Wherever you walk in that building, you get off the alley, you go, you break something in the laundry room. You leave that laundry room, there's a camera right in front of the elevator. They're going to see where you're walking. Then when you walk down this hallway, there's one that sees where you're walking. It's not going to be on your door, but we'll be able to count the doors but, and see which okay, one you went. But isn't there going to be one of the laundry rooms? With. Yes. So if you break something in the laundry room, we're going to at the elevator. Because, not, I'm saying we can catch them as they go out. What if they get in the elevator? Now we can see that they got in the elevator, and we can go to the next camera and see where they went. You're catching them in the act in the, in the, in the laundry room. Why do you need a second Because we need to know where they're going they're after they, they commit the act. Because but it's let, a let, let, let most of these, one, one, one quick thing, most of these people, so that you know, that are creating these problems, a lot of them, they're, some of them are owners, but a lot of them we're finding are renters or guests of renters or guests of owners, okay? So what's happening is, no matter who it is, a lot of times you're not going to be able to say, oh, I know who that person is. But if you, if you see where they're going, you can now, you know the unit that they went to, and that's who is the problem. Uh, oh, okay, so, so if someone breaks up in there, yeah. and, and they live in one Y, and they, yeah. go, they go in one U or W, who are you gonna find? Well, let's, say, uh, let, let's follow that for a second. Let's follow it. So now we, we call up one Y, and we explain blah, 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 blah. Well, that's not me. I had a friend of mine come to visit. Ah, no problem. Where'd they visit? Oh, they live somewhere else in the building. No problem. We go and we backtrack. We see where they went. Now, before the act, we can backtrack time and see where they came from. So if they came from a different unit before the act, we'll see what unit they came from. And after the Because we can, we can fast forward and we can rewind. And after we can find where they came from, from, where they went. People, it just won't happen anymore. What? I have to make an example out of a couple of people, it just won't happen. Yes, just like if you have a cop giving tickets, it'll only take a month or two and people will realize it. How many times do you go through a speed trap where they keep them there for a month and you realize, okay, I'm going to slow down now. It's the same thing. I it's brought the police in here, Steve, how many years ago? Ten years ago? Right. Did they give tickets? Yeah, they gave warning tickets. Not Did, even how about real tickets? tickets? That's how we found out the signs were illegal. Stop it right away. Yeah. 
Stop it right away. And you do that every We're actually months. working on that right now. You do that every, every three months. Is it is it possible to do the cameras like the bus speed humps? Put a few in. See that. I, I, see that I'll tell you right now. And then I recommend. This is my personal recommendation because in order to the, the reason I need them is so so I can fix the problems that I'm that I'm being told. If I can't fix the problems, don't even get me one because then you're going to say, you "See, we got your cameras, and you can't do it." No, no, no. I need to complete the picture so that I can see where the people are going. Because I promise you, I can promise you, we already know from the Zurich, because they have them only in those areas. And we can't do anything with it, right? We can't do anything if we don't know where the person's going or where they're coming. Are they working so, at the Zurich? They're not working. They're, they're working, working, working at the Zurich. The yes, problem is you can't find, you don't know where they're going and where they're coming from. We've already had situations in the Zurich. The camp, eight of the eight cameras used to be working, now only seven are working. Because one wire is now not functioning and, and nobody's willing to spend the money to replace the wire. But right now, uh, we have cameras in the laundry rooms and the entrances and the mail room and on the landings. So we can see an event. We can see a violation in the laundry room. We can see a violation in the mail room. That's half the problem. The other half is who is doing it. Backtrack. The whole idea is to hold people accountable. If we can say this is the unit that's responsible, there's nothing we can do with the information of, there's nothing management can do. All this is about giving management the tool to do something. I also want to mention something that a couple of people mentioned about if there's so many cameras, what does it do to our value? People are going to see. You have to understand, you're seeing on paper a number of cameras. So yes, it sounds scary, but let me let visualize walking yourself into your building. Just visualize it. You have you, as soon as you walk in your lobby, you have a small dome camera over here. You walk into your mailroom in the corner. It's a small dome camera. When you go up on your floors, okay, you go into the laundry room. It's a small dome camera all the way at the end. When you leave the laundry room in front of the elevator up in this corner, it's a small camera. You have to, you're not seeing them all at the same time. When you walk around the corner to go down the hallway, there's one camera here facing down the entire hallway. Then you walk the whole length of your hallway. And when you get to the end where the T is, you have one small dome facing that way. It's not like you're going to see cameras all over the place. It doesn't happen that way. No, but when you come in the body, you walk up the majority of the property. But you're not going to notice this 26,000.